Hey, have a good day. My name is Udo Blessing, and today I just want to show you this how I got this also awesome design. It's just a uh, just combination of some tools. Let's go right into the tutorial because it is going to be a very long one. Okay, the font I used is an Orati font. Just D E S I N design. Design. Make it active. Come to the character panel here and come to the the kerning between two characters and change it from auto to optical yes from auto to optical then change the font to anorati you might you can use any font you like actually you can use any font you like it doesn't matter so after getting this all you need to do is to expand this into a compound object object come to object and expand so now it's a compound object you can deselect and ungroup from the layer so how can you group just click on the group and control shift g then you ungroup now you can work with them individually now all right now the next thing to do is to you should start working on the letters themselves okay for the D now all you let, let us try by use by um, copying the D control F okay control F and um, let us make the stroke active so let me make the stroke white so that we can see it the stroke white you come to the stroke here and come to align stroke to inside align stroke to inside and make it make the width a lot align stroke to inside so yeah it's 11 just depending on the font size you used anyways so when you get that come to object and expand appearance I'm rushing because it's going to be a long tutorial. You can feel free to pause the video and go back and check. You expand again. Now it's a compound object. So what do we do? We don't need the, uh, these extra layers outside, so we we'll delete them. Just, just come to the direct selection tool, pick one of the anchor points, delete. It selects the rest and you delete. Now we have, we have the, we have this inside. Okay, let's go to the next one. That is the E. Uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, paste in front. Change it to white so that we can see it on the black. Make it uh, the field inactive. Change the align stroke to inside. Active. Increase the stroke. So let's say like ten. Uh, I just say ten. Change the stroke to 10. Don't overdo it or let me see 10.5. Don't overdo it. You come to object, expand, appearance, object, expand. If you've gotten that, you click on one of the upper points, then you delete. And come to the one of the upper points and delete. You go one of the upper points and now we're going a bit by bit this is also ctrl c and ctrl f paste in front so we just repeat the same process for everything so if you understood this you can just fast forward the video to the front so you make the stroke active come and pick here and change this to press 11 all right then you will punch object expand and then choose one of the anchor points let me make it so choose one of the anchor points and delete empty for i control f 
we've gotten that paste in front see it change it to white color make the stroke active and now because you've been using it for subsequent um, vectors the setting is there already so just increase the stroke to 11 11 and align stroke to inside then you come here expand then you come to direct selection too. you are expanding because you want to make what you are seeing vectorized not just a not just a part that's why we are expanding then delete all right we're getting there we're getting there this is just one part of the tutorial okay let's go to g now let's go to g now g then ctrl c ctrl f to paste in front change it to white and make it the stroke active change this to inside and change this to 11 change the stroke size to 11 come to object and expand that's great then click on the upper point and delete click on the upper point here and delete it's just a fun way just just i'm enjoying myself actually i'm actually enjoying myself okay let's go to the last letter that's n ctrl c ctrl f change it to white and make the stroke active change the stroke to inside and nudge this up to 11. Mm. I can see a particular problem we have with this, so it might ah there might be a problem when you're trying to do it. But don't worry, you can fix it. Expand appearance and let's delete it. So this you can just come close and use your hand to do it. It's nothing bad. Just just come and reduce it. Then this place come down and reduce it. Oh, if there's a up point here, you press minus or come here. Delete anchor point and delete to check if it is okay. You can still reduce it a little bit just to have that consistency. Let go to the next one. Also reduce it a little bit to have the consistency. Okay, so that that's fixed. Now we have our our, our our font set up so this is just the part one of the tutorial so check out the next video for the concluding part on how to shade your fonts in adobe illustrator thank you very much